All right, all right, settle down everyone, it's time for the Pogba doping saga news report, hold on to your haircuts. So, French footballer Paul Pogba, the man who brought the World Cup home but apparently forgot to bring his knowledge of the anti-doping code, has been slapped with a four-year ban for testing positive for, wait for it, testosterone, the stuff that makes your voice drop and your beard grow faster than your Instagram following. In the world of football, where the drama off the pitch often rivals that on it, Paul Pogba finds himself in a bit of a sticky situation. The French maestro, known for his flamboyant hairstyles and dab celebrations, has been handed a four-year vacation from football courtesy of an anti-doping ban. It seems Pogba decided to add a bit of extra kick to his game, testing positive for testosterone after Juventus' Serie A opener. But wait, there's more. Just when you thought one banned substance was enough to spice up the headlines, reports surfaced that Pogba was also cozying up with DHEA, another performance-enhancing guest at the party. This duo of banned substances not only earned him a spot in the doping hall of shame, but also a possible four-year ban under the World Anti-Doping Code's strict RSVP list. Now, this isn't Pogba's first brush with the anti-doping agency, folks. Back in August, he tested positive for another banned substance, DHEA, which is basically like giving your body a natural testosterone factory. Seems like Pogba was trying to bulk up his game, but ended up bulking up his ban instead. So, what does this mean for Pogba? Well, buckle up because it's not good. This four-year ban is basically a footballing red card, putting his career on hold longer than a Netflix queue. He'll miss out on matches, sponsorships, and let's be honest, probably some epic dance celebrations. But hey, there's always a silver lining, right? Maybe Pogba can use this time to catch up on some reading, like, you know, the anti-doping rulebook. Just a suggestion, champ. Now you might wonder, what's the big deal with testosterone and DHEA? Imagine your body deciding to go turbo mode with the help of these substances, boosting endurance and physical performance. It's like using a cheat code in a video game, except the consequences are real and far from amusing. Facing the music, Pogba is expected to appeal this four-year intermission at the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Switzerland. It's like trying to argue with the bouncer after getting kicked out of the club for partying too hard. Good luck. The fallout from a doping ban in football is like a domino effect of misfortune. Health-wise, you're playing Russian roulette with your body, risking everything from heart issues to a starring role in your own psychological thriller. Socially, it's the equivalent of being the last one picked for a team permanently. Your reputation takes a nosedive and suddenly you're the subject of every meme on the internet. Then there's the ban itself. A four-year hiatus from football is like missing an entire leap year cycle. It's a long time to reflect on life's choices. And for those who think they can sidestep the rules, additional penalties await, turning a bad situation into a career-ending nightmare. Financially, it's akin to flushing money down the toilet. Say goodbye to lucrative contracts, sponsorships, and possibly having to return prize money. It's a steep price to pay for a momentary edge on the field. In summary, Pogba's situation serves as a cautionary tale, peppered with a dose of humor, about the perils of seeking an unfair advantage. As the football world watches, one can't help but wonder if this tale will end with a comeback or serve as a final act for one of the sport's most colorful characters.